Great sounds. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Don. I'm the explosive one. Oh, let's start the timer. Ba-ding. TNT. So, <laughs> uh, do you know who Rory McIlroy is? Uh, he's a golf ball player. Yes, golf ball. Yeah. Uh, so he, uh, you know, he was kind of the next big thing after Tiger had his like infidelous ways because they had they had Rory McIlroy golf, Rory Woods twenty twenty mm. or whatever year it was. Is he one of the ones that went to India when India was no, no, no it I think India. he stayed. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. No, no, I think he's still local because he's allowed to play. Okay. Um, so th- this was like maybe a w- couple weeks ago at this point. Uh, he was at a tournament and a, and a spectator threw a golf ball onto the thing, onto the green, like, but as he was walking up and he thought it was his ball, it was actually a remote control golf ball. So he went down to like pick it up and the guy like moved the ball away uh. from him. So, so, you know, he was like, oh, ha ha. And the guy did it. He picked it up and threw it in the fucking pond, like right next to the hole. Yeah. He, he was like, I'm not amused. Just threw it. Wow. So, okay. So like this guy, I mean, I, I mean, get it. It's kind of a D move to like bring up yeah, a little golf know. ball to. Yeah. Plus if like you do it and it's not handled in such a way that everybody's going to be like, oh, look, it's funny to just throw shit at the golf ball players. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, even if it is hilarious. <laughs> it is very hilarious. That's pretty funny. But I would have like really liked if he just like chased it around the, go- yeah. off the green for a while. Like it was fast enough that he couldn't catch it. Yeah, dance monkey. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> he just starts like <laughs> dancing on the green. But like so, so I got to thinking like, what if you like went to other places of people's employment, <laughs> like just like wow. mess with them like that, like what, like put a remote control head of lettuce at the H E B produce aisle. <laughs> right, right. You go in and have like a remote control hamburger, and you throw it on the grill at Wendy's. And they just... I'm gonna tell you right now, Jones. That's a good way to get yourself effed up. All right, <laughs> messing with fast food workers. They already ain't making a lot. They're already mad. They're probably working like a double today. Yeah, they're like, I'm working, I'm working seventy hours this week yeah. to make five hundred dollars on my check, like, yeah. bruh. Yeah, so I, I don't know, honestly. I think bef- if we're going to discuss messing with people at your job, we have to discuss which people should we mess with. So I would say, which job do you think has the most dangerous employees, like people who are just on edge and just ready to just like? I think anything service. Anything service, like messing with a bartender, so like, like you know what? I don't know about bartender. I feel like they get it all the time. Like, especially if you're a female bartender, yo, know, they, they yeah, I feel like they're just a little bit like they just let it slide, whatever. Yeah. You um, don't you know, act a fool. Um, but I will have to say it's like fast food. Definitely. Yeah. That'd be too much. Um, I've never met a janitor. I trusted. Yeah. The one at the one they at the elementary like school is really killers. nice. He used to always bring me in his office and eat candy. That was really- <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious. I thought you were being real. He was like, no, he was always really nice. Yeah. He was so nice to me. Yeah, he bought t- me new underwear He took once. me downstairs into the boiler room yeah. and like, we went to the playroom. Yeah. There was a playroom in the boiler. It was really nice. I wonder why I always. And- <laughs> yeah. We always took showers together. And <laughs> he tucked me in really nice. <laughs> um, no, dude. Uh, we shave my cheek. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But janitors I've never trusted. I honestly, Jones, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, look, thank you for your service, but teachers. I feel Man. like if you were to f with a teacher not on the job, I feel like you would see a side of them that is just like insane. You know, I agree because okay, <laughs> tangent. Go ahead. I don't know how anyone's out here teaching anymore <laughs> because. <laughs> Because, because they make nothing comparatively. You're dealing they make with very little. Yes, you're dealing, especially like in high school. Like at least elementary school, you're dealing with the same kid all day, right? Yes. In you know, in high school, you're dealing with different ruckus ass causing kids yeah. every fifty minutes. Yeah. Who don't want to be there? They all have cell phones, and like. And you have to try, and they all have little and you're to no respect. To teach them things that they don't care about. Mm-hmm. And you're and you're making like thirty five k a year. Mm. How does anyone want to do that? Mm. Like mm. especially in this climate. And then they wonder why the education system is like wild and it'd be like kids test scores lowest in seven decades. You're like, That's yeah, the thing man. It's like it's like, but where do you start? Do you up the standards for what it, what you need to become a teacher, or do you just up you the pay bank? them more? I mean, paying them more is going to be great, but if you're going to pay them more, I feel like you also have to up the standards. Yeah, well, I think I think that goes with with any uh, type of job. Yes, I knew someone who 
who had they uh, they they worked at a place and they were in charge of they they were in charge of like handling things and the employees that they were hiring they were paying next to nothing yeah. and then they were getting people would quit all the time people yeah. would do shady stuff yeah. people would whatever yeah. and it was like Duh. where you could where you could pay someone a little more money <coughs> I cut down on your loss prevention. That would, yeah, right, exactly. And you get people who cared about what they're doing, yeah. like you know what I mean. Like, te well, and that's the thing. Most teachers do it because they care. That's what they, they want to educate. That's, yeah, that's what they tell you. You know, it's like they're <laughs> like they're like I believe in the future, and the future is the kids. The kids are the next generation. You know, all that kind of stuff. And I get that. That yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, it's it's one of those acts that's you know has a little bit of altruism baked into it. I get it. Right, right. But it's like, at what point is it enough, man? Like, I don't know. Like man. I I used to think sometimes back in the day, like, oh, being a teacher would be really cool. I would enjoy like teaching kids like stuff, but. No, dude. Like, I, mm -mm. you're battling. Like, you couldn't even have a pager when I, when we were in school. Oh, and now pager. every kid has a GD phone. How the hell are you keeping them kids from looking at their phones all day? They don't These anymore. Kids are so addicted to their phones. So you can't you can't cut them off cold turkey. So now they just cut it off to like certain times. And even still, it's like yeah, you can look at your phone during class and everything as long as you're doing something that pertains to schoolwork or whatever. Yeah, it's just so. it's crazy. Well, and here's the thing too. Like from when I was married and had stepkids, I didn't realize like they one of them was in Spanish. Spanish, and he was like, yeah, we don't learn anything. They just have us Google translate it. And I'm like, how are you? Why are you taking yeah. a language class to then have Google translate do all of your work? Yeah. I'm like, what is the what is the point of that? I don't know, man. But it is it is an uncanny tool. And but like everybody, nobody learns anything because they just look it up on the internet. And I'm just like, the, because the sum of all knowledge is in one place, no one needs feels they need to have that knowledge in their brain. I'm telling you, man, when I finally get... The god dang, what do you call neural it? Link? When I finally get the neural link and I have it on my head like a cerebro that Gene Gray would wear, then you're going to know. You're going to know. I want to know all well, the information. I'll have all yeah. of Wikipedia right here. Well, I think, and I think that's the problem is that, you know, I, 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 I uh, compare it to back in the day. Like, I knew like all my friends and family's phone numbers because I had to dial them every time I called them. Mm hmm. And now I don't know anybody's phone number because I just hit the no. button in my phone and call them. I know, like, right? It, right? Like, maybe there's a couple that I know, but mo for the most part, I don't. Yeah. And, like, so if you lose your phone, you can't get a hold of any of your friends, yeah. family, anybody. I so, remember I used to know phone numbers and addresses. Right, man. exactly. And half the time now, because I don't have, like, the the practice in memorizing phone numbers, I forget my own zip code half the time. Yeah, right. Exactly, dude. I and can't. so I feel like kids in school feel the same way. They're like, why do I need to learn math? If I need to use math, I'll just Google it or bring up a calculator or do whatever. I mean, Jonas. But our, but guess what they do listen, know? Listen, what our, the hot celebrities are doing, what the new TikTok trend is. Wait, back it up. Yeah. Are they wrong? Not necessarily. Okay, then. But they, okay, come, then. they come across and are so much less intelligent. I mean, but are they wrong? When's the last time you had to do some serious X equals parentheses Y seven algebraic equations? You haven't. You've never used it. And no, if you dude, did. I, and I if have you did, used math what? in my real life sometimes. Yeah, but if you do need to do some serious math that you can't do off the top of the head or on the back of the napkin, you just use your phone. Yeah, I hate the fact that I'm basically saying is that they're not wrong for remaining ignorant or not exercising their brains to excel. But on the same note, do you really need it? Yeah, even scientists in a lab, they're not going to sit up here and try to think it up in their head because there's human error. They're going to go and just enter it in the calculator, pop why, it in. All why computer. chance getting the wrong answer? <laughs> when you can get it so right, so you can for feel sure. smart, then just get the right answer. Maybe that's maybe that's the reason uh, we the it's the machines trying to trick us. They're gonna make everything correct for so long, <laughs> then they're just gonna start giving us the wrong answers for no reason, just to mess with us. And that's when they're gonna come alive, take uh, us over, and we'll be they're they're slaves to the machine. Uh, They'll be cracking whips and telling us to go cook them cheeseburgers because now they need real food because they're evolving into humans from machines. Mm. I like this. Yeah. Very, very War of the Worlds. Yeah, we're War of the Worlds. Very. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.